Right, so let's turn our attention briefly to the London Film Festival, which is still chugging along quite happily. As usual, it includes contributions from the Children's Film Unit, which was established in 1981 to introduce the young to all aspects of filmmaking, both in front of and behind the camera. One of its most recent products, School for Vandals, will be shown as part of the Junior London Festival. The director and the only adult involved in the filming was Colin Finbow. All the rest, cast and crew alike, were children of varying ages. We sent Russ Kane to Seaford in Sussex, where they were on location, and this is his report. The children's film unit is about to release their fifth feature film, called School for Vandals. It's written and directed by Colin Finbow, the full-time organiser of the unit. An ex-film studies teacher, he found that the easiest way to teach children at his old school was to actually let them make films for themselves. One year we shot a feature, and uh, somehow or other it got shown publicly, and uh, got a lot of acclaim. And people generally were saying to me, oh, what a pity that it's just one school that has this facility. What a lovely thing it would be if every kid in the country could join a film unit. And I said, well, of course they could if there were enough nuts to run them. And uh, because no one seemed to take up that challenge, I left teaching and set it up. I'd rather not have a look, because I want to trust you. OK, OK. Walk the chair left. Walk the chair left out as well. Don't mind if it jolts, because we can lose that yeah, yeah. If you, if you, If you trust me, I think I, I, like, I prefer this position than just to the head. OK, then. It's yours. The technicians are the ones who are worth their weight in gold because they tend to stay from one film to another. We are using the direction line. On that Actors shift quite often into technical roles. One of the lads here, Orlando Wells, was a, an actor two years ago. He's now a cameraman. Yeah, you're going to have to hang loose in that case because he's not going to get his bum in the right place every time. You're happy. I'm happy. Right. The team always back. work with two cameras for speed. At 15, Titus Bicknell is an old hand and the most experienced member of the company. How many productions have you been involved with here? This will be my fifth. Your fifth? Yeah. And what exactly do you do? Um, it's a combination of jobs, um, starting with watching the rehearsals and discussing the scene with the director, then it goes through to setting up the camera and then actually shooting and then, at the end of the day, canning up, sending off what we've shot, cleaning all the, the hard work. Well, here's a rare sight of female sound recorders. How did you get into this, Sharon? Just through school. My, my friend got a part in the film, and then it just came back through me. And I, they said, do you want to be a technician? I said, yeah, why not? So what, is it, what does it really involve, being a sound recordist on a, on a unit like this? Well, um, you have to get levels of dialogue and... Um, clear background noises and getting rid of background noises like cameras and things and just making sure that you get um, clear dialogue. When you leave school, is this what you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> the, the BBC. Anywhere in particular? <laughs> Go to the BBC. Oh, where else? <laughs> OK, then, everybody ready? Let us go for takes and... Rolling. Cameras rolling. rolling. Mark it. Eight, six, four. Ready. Action. Fart. To start with, some of the children may think they're just in for an extended holiday. In fact, they work a 12-hour day and each has a full-time professional job to do. At the end of the project, the film will be screened in a cinema like any other. It was a bit strange for them at first. We're mean to having us around. They like kids, that's why they started this school. Not necessarily. I don't think any of my teachers like kids. If they're all like you, I'm not surprised. For the actors on this, I decided to choose children from one locality. So I put an advert in a local paper saying, do you want to be a movie star? So, <laughs> and uh, eventually, out of all the hundreds who found up, narrowed it down to this one. Take this out and get it ready first. Yeah. Okay. 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 Although Colin Finbo has the responsibility of getting the film made hanging over him, he still makes sure that he allows the children to discover for themselves what does and doesn't work. You're looking around real mean. You get it out. Right, that's it. Yeah. Sebastian, you're the youngest member of this uh, cast, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how old are you? Seven. And Carolyn, how old are you? I'm 13. 13. Are you the uh, the leader of this gang? Yeah. That I hear so much about. Yeah. Tracy. 
Is that right? Yeah. And you do terrible things to Sebastian? No. But he doesn't? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, doesn't Sharon's I think... Sharon's gang do. They oh, Sharon's to... gang. Which is, is that the meanest gang of a lot? Well... You reckon so? Well, I think, I think they are. What's the best scene you think that you've done so far since you've been down here? Oh, climbing over climbing frame with Vaseline. Climb, well, tell me about that. What we happened? get, uh, I got a big, we got, we get big lumps of Vaseline and rub them all over the climbing frame so that Sharon's going to slip. And hurt themselves? Yeah. <laughs> but you look so innocent. You're pretty sneaky, aren't you, really? I can tell. Yeah, I'm, in one of the scenes, <laughs> I got a little fire engine and I wrap it around the table. Yeah. And then I pull it and all the cakes fall off the table. Who would have thought with such an innocent <laughs> face? Do you get up to terrible things? Yeah. What about when you're not filming? I mean, you're down here for three weeks. What do you get up to? We just come up Mostly and go Mostly playing snooker. Who wants to be an actor when you grow up? Not at the back? <laughs> Obviously a budding accountant with the catapult there. Why don't you want to be an actor? Because, one, I don't like acting all that much. <laughs> and most of the time I fluff my words. That report was by Russ Kane.